Bring it back. What's going on everybody? Cold blooded here. So today is day two of the renovations to my cannon base. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get this chopping wood again. Ooh, actually I should spawn in a truck first. Do, 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 do. Okay. Spotting. Okay. Let's turn this on. Let's go to gold. I need to cut off more gold. I'm gonna set up a quick um like another quick chopper. Just to chop this wood off in sections. Um, should be good. Let's see. I just need to hook it up. Um, I don't have a switch, but I know I see no pressure plate here. Here it is. Move, and then we'll pop this wire. All right. Okay, that's done. We're gonna just set up another one real quick. Where the heck is the power source? Here it is. Oh. Go the other way. Um, yeah, what the heck? I'll put it right here. This should reach. So much quicker than chopping it by hand. You know, I should really have a funneling come around the end of this thing. Okay, there's that. It's processing. We got space in the truck. We got a little space in the truck. Oh, do we got a jam? No, we're fine. Okay. So I'm gonna let it run for a minute. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. All right, so. Let's see, I really have no clue what I'm going to be doing in here. Um, I'm just kind of winging it. I know I need to come two units in. So, let's see. Okay. Let's do some... I know what we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys how to make columns. Whoa, we don't need columns that big. Okay, so columns, here's what it takes to make columns, now, hold on, give me a second, now this is the base, so the base needs to be, because it's three, the base needs to be five. Actually, let me go out one more this way. Oh my god. There's our lineup for our base. I need to go slow this down. I'm going to let it keep going. I'm just going to turn this toggle. So that'll hold it. So let me do these two. 
Okay. Now we need to fill it. This is actually going to go up one more high. So we'll go. Should I go one more up high? It's a pretty short thing. Somebody's loading in. I can feel the shift in the lag. Okay. Yep, it's that guy. Okay. So, if he was a subscriber, I just gotta save. Um, I have no problem doing that. Well, the buttons are exactly the same as this color. Because if you guys are in a server with me and I ain't responding, and you're on PC, well, if I'm recording, I'm more likely than not on Xbox. That doesn't mean if you're on PC, you can't have a word with me, because a lot of the times, I have two accounts in. I'll have one in on my PC, and I'll have one in on my Xbox. Okay. That's fine. I'll leave that alone. Let's finish up this. So. So now, you see I'm going to have like a one unit gap all the way around. Now, here's what you could do. You can use two small, you know, uh, two tiny floors, or you could do like I do, <laughs> and just use one of these. Or try and use one of these, holy crap. Now what that'll do is that'll save us four units of wood. Because instead of using two pieces, we're using one. Now I guess if this was before the one unit ability... Um, gosh, how much is this? Oh, it would have been the same thing. So there would have been no point really. I guess it wouldn't have mattered. But now that it only takes one unit to fill everything, this saves us a unit of wood. Okay, so here's our base. As you can see, we ended up with the plus sign. No. Well, I guess that kind of helps, actually. You'll see why right now. Okay, now. Oh, you know what? I need to process some green. Um, why is this? Oh. Rotate. No, rotate how I want you to. There we go. <clears throat> Come on. Right. Okay, so let's see. Now we need. Nope, not you. Tiny floors. Ooh, I saved it. Okay, now what I like to do is... This is why you don't keep people blacklisted, because your wood starts to glitch. <laughs> do, do, do. too long. It should be fine.
take that. And go grab the truck. We'll reload it. With all the gold. Just let some of that green fall in too. We don't need much for now. I'm just using that as an accent piece really right now. That's more than enough. Let me turn this off. Now I'm only doing this <clears throat> stripe right here. This is just to kind of break it up so it's not just all yellow. It'll make it stand out a bit more in the end. That one fell over. And one more out of the truck. Alright, now let's see. Do I got it? Yes, I do. Alright, so here is the one that's going to start going fast. Rotate. Let me get this sign. Rotate. Now that isn't high enough yet, but it's getting close. The only reason why I'm stopping is because when you have all of those um, like percentages to fill your blueprints, it'll throw you off sometimes and when, you're, when you're trying to place it because you can't really see through them. At least not very well. That shot across. Well, whatever. Come on, pop up. Alright. Oh, we just need a couple more pieces and we'll fill. And drop down. There we are, okay. <laughs> and as you can see, that's quickly starting to come together. So then like when you get to the top all we're going to be doing is capping it much the same way that we finished it like or started it I mean And see that green line just helps it pop out where that transition is on the base to the top and that's all we're really worried about right there However uh, no, that'd look funny. I'll leave it like that. You know, where's this laser at? Here it is. Okay, 
I'll have to try to balance this up here. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. Good. I should be able to place it anyways. Now we know how tall to go. All right. There we go. Oh, that'll be perfect. Come on, I got to sneeze. I am going to need to chop more gold. It's almost a level with that. I think <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and like do that in all the corners. So this corner will have one too. Let me show you guys how we do this. Okay, so I stuck this out both ways by a unit. So we're gonna do the same down here. So I'll go like that. Three. Oop, there we go. Three. And oh my. There we go. Three. There's that. This corner post that we put in last time, you're gonna have to go destroy. Destroy. Might as well destroy these two. Alright. Um, actually, we need to go too high. Screwed the pooch on that one. such a weird saying. <laughs> okay, oh, hmm, can I get it? If I, I think, hold on. Let's see, if I keep going like this, I think I could still do it. 
I'm just trying to go and make up for what happens in that wall section. Look at that. I knew this would work out. <laughs> Perfect. Come on. There we are. Okay, now we just gotta fill this. Now I should probably go to start chopping some more gold. We don't have enough of the truck. Okay. I'm gonna want a couple more slivers of that because I'm still gonna need a few for that ring on the base before I pull it out. Let me use that. One, two, three, four. Okay. That should be enough with what I got. I'm hoping at least. I think it's five. I got six, seven. Yeah, all I needed was... Oh wait, no, I need... Eight. I'm gonna need one more. Dang it. Well, I could finish chopping that other sliver by hand. Only needs another chop or so. Controls are acting off the screen today. I'm gonna leave you to it. I'm gonna come over here and fill. And the holidays are already over. I feel like no time to really do anything this season. I had too many big builds towards the end. I didn't leave time for a lot of small stuff like this that I like to do. Let me turn these toggles over here. But the big builds are all just platforms for more stuff to happen, so they are a bit necessary. You remember we I built that mountain. Uh, now I finished that mountain back in September. Now the mountain is built, but the base is far from done. I still have a lot more to do to it. Let's do the green ring. Now here's where you guys are going to see how I do it, like when I'm adding it to a wall. So that wall is just going to kind of carry through. That's not a problem. And all we're going to do is wherever it's not touching, we're going to fill in with um, blueprints. So 
So, I mean, if you guys want to build columns, oop, you'll be more than capable of doing this so now. There's not much to it, and hey, if you guys don't want to use um, these base pieces, don't feel like you have to. You can just use the top section. Ah. Uh. There we go. Now let's just do some uprights. Two, three. I'm gonna go ahead and do more right now since I don't have to do the in betweens yet. Was the first one. First one's always easy, uh, except for that first one. <laughs> Put my foot in the mouth there, huh? Come on, just slide forward a bit. There we go. First one's always hard, and then it gets easy. See? This is just how you have to do. Say the first one's always hard, and it'll pop right in. <laughs> Post. 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 Give me a boost tank. Post. Post. Whoa, that was weird. Is that in there? No, it's not in there. These blueprints are starting to mess with me. Whew. Just got that in there. Okay. I'm gonna feel... I, I don't wanna fight this anymore. Come on. We are almost done. Let's go get some more wood from over here. Hey, these didn't used to have this texture on it. That's new. They were all smooth. Oh man, my trees in here died. <laughs> that was an unorthodox way of doing it, but it works. Fill in a few more. Oh, come on. And now we need these posts. Look how easy it got without the the percentage of the blueprint filled. Just 
popped right in there. Ooh, almost perfect. And that is how you make columns. Ah. See you guys? Two columns. Now like I said, you don't have to do this base part. Um, you can just do the top and I mean it'll still look good you'll have these columns sitting there but I don't know that kind of gives it more of a like Greek Empire look because <laughs> it always had the real wide base and I mean heck you don't even have to do um, it this way on the base you could go and just do it square so instead of these 45s you could just make it a box and you can make it taller you could put it up to here if you want you know you can do it however you want Really, I'm just showing you guys how to do this piece here and giving you some options for the base. And that green ring, like I said, it just helps it break it up. Otherwise, the bottom kind of blends into the to the main section of it. And it doesn't stand out quite as much. But with that, it just really makes it stand out a lot more. Especially when you're using like weird colors like this. I guess some colors, like you wouldn't really care if you were going for like an all-end times base you'd be fine I mean I would still throw in some blue because blue and end times really like play well together just stuff like that or I mean if you wanted to be like a real subtle difference you could throw in some white with some end times or I could have done like a ring of uh, fir wood which is this other yellow wood here or the glow fir whatever you want to call it but pretty simple guys really and it doesn't take much effort it does take a lot of pieces of wood and I mean I mean really not that bad for this whole build so far you know these sticks aren't that big look at them they're not they're not much big at all I mean I mean none of my sticks are that big compared to some of yours I don't like keeping really big pieces I cut them down when I get them but we're still in the same stick we still have this section left I'm just gonna throw it in here so it's ready for next time Come on. But we will have to go and start another stick to do the other two columns. Alright guys. We are at 32 minutes right now. So, this video I feel has gone on long enough. I'm going to carry on doing the other two columns. And, uh, because you've seen how I did two already. You don't need to see more. Alright guys, that is it for today. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you have any ideas on other things I should try to integrate on here, if it is possible and I have this space, I will do so. Just remember, I do need to dedicate a big amount of space, like I'm thinking from here back for TNT. So I don't, like I have all this section over here to mess with. Now I need to rebuild Hank, I'm going to build him different, I don't know where I'm going to put him. But, I need to have a big area for TNT, because, I mean look, look at all my cannons. One, two, three, four, five. I got six cannons on this base. The one that takes the least amount of TNT is this cannon. That only takes one. But the other ones, this takes eight. This takes... Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen in here. It's pretty cool. I mean, look at that. That takes 12. I mean, really, I fit like 18 or 16 on there if I want. This takes 16... This one takes 12, the one over there takes 32, so there's a lot of TNT, we need lots of space. Let me know if there's any other like ideas, concepts, designs, whatever the case may be, down in the comment section. And for all things Number Tycoon, subscribe to my channel.